guys how's it going it's a uh, height here and we're back with a brand new episode of 64 the i guess passive factory building game i mean there's not much of a factory happening here it's more of like a uh, logistics problem of not being able to f i mean that is kind of factory i was gonna say not being able to fit everything that you want in a small space i mean that's kind of factory yeah let's say it's factory it's a very simplistic factory style game and in the last episode, we got up to this beta piling resource and unlocked a few new equipments here that we haven't actually started to use yet. So I'm hoping we're going to be able to do some of this. The Sharonite reclaims Quantite from liquefied Sharonite. Let's let's see how this works here. I don't know where I want to put this. Maybe I'll leave a little bit of space and I'll stick it over here. And what do I put in here? Fourth thousand of the black four thousand of the black oh we're getting orange again which is interesting are, are we getting orange again no we're not we're getting we're still getting red okay so we only make red we're only mining red rather we have to make purple and then we have to make the purple into orange and that is how that is working so far which is fine. So what else can we do right now besides just wait? I think we kind of just have to wait. I still want to make this pump. This is priority numero uno for me. Oh, let's get this thing juiced back up again here so it can go. All right. And I still want to see. I want to work this thing and just see. Let's fire it up. Oh, cool. Whoops, I can't zoom. I thought I could zoom. All right, well, that's just gonna work for a while. Now we're broke, can't do anything. Beta piling oxidizer, burns beta piling to produce charonite and trace amounts of other elements. To produce charonite? So we can turn this back into this? Oh my God, what a disaster. So we're gonna turn this into this, into this, into this. <laughs> All right, this is pretty simple, pretty simple stuff. Okay, let's keep that going. Perfect, and I guess now we just continue to grind it out for a bit All right guys, we can almost afford the pumps or the new pump. I want to see what it does. We're, we're almost there. I'm so close 81 55 81 92 let's slap this thing down Wait Wait, oh it needs power obviously duh, okay Oh my god, look at how fast it is! <laughs> okay, now we just need better mining machines. Entropy resonator, sump pump, beta piling oxidizer, material streamer tower, channels resources via stream. There can be only one. I don't know what that is. Oh my god, 63,000 red. So tell me about the machines. What do you mean? What are they? What do they do? How do they work? I don't know. Well, they look fancy with some cables and wires and stuff. It's funny that my friend's just totally okay with me being like... Man, if I was getting messages like this, I'd be like, you've actually lost your mind. One, for example, looks like a big plastic box with a copper coil on top where a blue stone goes. And there's a big label saying E01SR on the side with a small label, caution, strong entropy radiation. What does that mean? <laughs> I have no idea. Recycling tower. I think we want one of these. There can be only one. Let's build it. Oh my gosh. Let's put it over here with all of our miscellaneous stuff. I think I want to put three of those things down at some point and I'll leave a space and I'll just stuff this thing down right here. Okay. Uh, I don't know really there's some entropy radiation there. I guess wait I thought you made these machines, right? I see your point. I just make them from cubes somehow, but I don't know what's inside. Yeah, that does sound weird Let me think about this <laughs> And by the way, it seems like yellow and blue stones are not infinite So I should really invest in those converters or a new mine Sounds like a plan Yeah, that's kind of where I'm at already yellow and blue We got to make more blue with this guy which i don't have enough money for right now so we can't do that uh, we could probably get two more miners i wonder actually now that i see this maybe i could get rid of 
these fans. And once we get two more miners, actually I could get like three more miners in there eventually. That would not be a bad idea. Probably. It would definitely give me more money. It's just they're so pricey. $6,000 for one of those things. And I'm still needing to make bl uh, black into purple. So where are we at? Dig down 640 meters? Not a problem whatsoever. Burns beta pylon to produce charonite and trace amounts of other elements. I think we want one of these. Um, and again, I'm going to leave myself some room. Maybe I'll just put it here. Okay. And oh my God, it takes 8,000. All right. Well, we can't do that right now. Things are starting to get pretty pricey. I think the progress is going to start slowing down here relatively quick. I did anticipate this was going to be an idle game though. So we'll have to see how bad it gets but so far it's doing pretty good all right guys so we're pretty much set up here i don't think we have to do anything else as far as changes are concerned this thing is basically just running fully automatically by itself i don't have to touch anything i don't have to do anything once we get eight thousand of the red i'm able to put it in here and it turns it into a pile of black ones here which is great for us and then we're able to turn the black ones into blue right here bingo i'm able to turn the blue ones into yellow right here bingo so there we go that's our system now the next thing we have to do is start unlocking this thing i think that's the only thing we haven't built yet looks like everything else we have so we gotta get in to the material streamer tower channels resources via stream i don't know what that means hopefully we can figure it out 32,000 black though and 32,000 red so we're at the point where we're only getting red like that is our new basically basic resource i guess but there's only way i could put it that's our new basic resource and then in everything else we have to craft so kind of interesting but uh we'll see what happens i'm wondering if at some point we're going to be able to build a new mine shaft and then get back up to the surface to start getting some more black the old-fashioned way uh, I'm kind of expecting that's gonna be the case because there's so much empty space and I like I mean I'm, I'm assuming we're gonna have to be able to use it at some point but we'll see how things go I do need to get a pile of resources here so we're just gonna have to keep crafting away and see how that goes but wish me luck I'll see you guys shortly Oh my god, I just realized after almost getting to 30, well, I'm over 32,000 black. I'm still waiting for the reds. I just realized I have this extra channel right here that we can start using. I could put it here and we can reuse a lot of the same machines probably, I, I imagine. I'm going to need another one of those uh, valves. We'll put it on the opposite side of that one, perhaps. Um, we're going to need an auxiliary pump. And we're going to need one of these bad boys. And then this thing is going to need some juice. But it should just start going. And these guys here are going to start being able to mine on both sides. Which is pretty terrific, honestly. I think that's great. So, also, we can start adding maybe not more of those guys. But more of... What do we want? These things? These breaker boys? I think we want more breakers. Uh, actually, we could probably do both. Yeah, if I put one more of these here, and then I put one more of these here, we can't do that right now. I need to put the other one first, the destabilizer. Put that there. And then we let's make this symmetrical. I think I need this here it's kind of hard to tell can i copy another one of these or do i not have the resources i do not have the resources okay i'm gonna have to start saving all over again we're all out of yellow it seems so let's get this going what's going on here <gasps> i don't have enough i don't have enough yellow to even make more of that okay well anyway this is going to continue to work for us this is great 
you love to see it. I think... Are, are all of these empty? It's hard to tell. Yeah, there we go. Okay, this one's gonna need some juice. Why... Oh, I don't have enough! <laughs> oh, no. I do have one. We can fire that one up for now. And we're just gonna have to wait out the rest of it. I guess I could use this... No, I can't do that either. We need more yellow. All right, we're waiting for the yellow. This is terrific. The fact that we can make more of these... I should probably even put more of them. Uh, because I can afford it. Although I don't really want to right now. We're gonna we're gonna leave it. We're gonna leave it for now. We'll let it do a thing. Alright, so this seems to be working out pretty good. We're starting to make some more black again. We're getting a little bit of yellow, which is not enough. So we're gonna have to start making more of that, more of that. Okay, all of this is good. This is great, and I can actually keep expanding this however I want. And keep reusing some of these walls for two things at the same time. I realized after I probably shouldn't be reusing so much of the miners because they can't really mine both sides at the same time, I don't think. But, I, yeah, it's probably still fine. I think it's still fine at the end of the day. Now, I probably can't afford another one of these. No, I'd like to put one more in there just to get it going, but I think for now it's fine. We're really, really hoping to get up to that 32,000 on the both red and the black, and that will get us this last new thing. Hopefully we can figure out what this means. Channels, re channels resources via stream. I wonder if it like automatically fills these things so that I don't have to click on them because then this game would truly be idle and we could just come in, upgrade our base, show up every once in a while, keep doing our thing, and it would just kind of operate itself. But we'll have to see how that goes. I got to farm up 32,000 red. We've already got the 32,000 black, so we're not too far away. But it is going to take a minute. So let's wait it out, see how things go. I'll see you guys shortly. We've got green! Hell gem. What a pain in the ass. Huh? A green stone. It takes ages to break it. I have to come up with something if they keep showing up. Yeah, okay. The, I didn't even realize, but the green ones take forever to mine, apparently. I'm sure you'll make some fancy machine for that. You bet. We better have one. We'll see. We'll see what happens here. You bet. Where's my green machine? It's material streamer. What's this thing? Disassembling tower. A recycling tower upgrade allows machine disassembly, which returns all resources. There can be only one. A fill director indicates machines ready for filling. Hell gem injector. Swaps a random resource from an adjacent cube with a hell gem. If there is none... Has 32 charges if provided with 32 hell gems and 64 quantite. Automatically refills nearby machines 16 times. What happens after the 16 times? <laughs> then what happens, huh? Excuse me? Oh boy, we're in for a treat here. I imagine some of these have hell gems and that's why it's taking so long. Nope, they're actually all good. I just maybe need to fill up these machines because they're running out of resources. There we go. That'll speed things up again. Look at the amount of resources. 131,000 black, 64 green. OMG. Wow, look at these things. They're so pricey. Okay. Well, we have to figure out what this thing is. This is like the next cheapest thing that we can buy. I can only have one of them apparently, so it's probably going to be useful. We just got to figure out what it is that it does. Can I put more blocks in there? There we go. Okay. Well, we're getting close. Almost at 32,000. I know I said I'd see you guys soon, but when I unlocked the hell gem, I figured I'd had to come and talk to you. So anyway, let's get that 32,000 and see if we can build that stupid stream, stream machine, material streamer tower. We'll see what happens here. Oh, there's got to be a hell gem in here. Can't, I can't break this block. Oh, there's one over there too. It takes so long. Like it actually just takes so long. Look at this. Click, 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 click. I can't, look at how long it takes. I can't. Oh, my wrist. Come on. Go. There. Ah, oh, wow. We did it. It's gonna start being a huge pain in the butt. 
Again, I know I said I'd be back at 32,000, but I just can't help it. <laughs> There's so much going on right now. Oh, jeez. Okay, well, anyway, now, for real this time. 32,000. That's it. No more. We're waiting. We need that streamer. Let's go. All right, we've finally done it. Let's see what this thing does here. I added some fans to increase the production so I could click on these things faster and they would mine. Um, but let's see here. A hell gem destabilizer. An industrial destabilizer upgrade boosts the power of resource crushing processes by 625 times. Oh! Otherwise, it provides no benefit. Requires one hell gem to operate. Wow, okay. So it's equivalent to 624 clicks per one. That's actually great when there's a hell gem around. You'll love to see that. But that's not what I'm looking for right now. I'm looking for the streamer. Also, what's this? Excavates a lot of resources fast and places them farther around itself. Oh, that's pretty neat. Okay, we're going to have to get into that here at some point. Where's that channel thing? Here we go. Streamer tower. What is this thing? There can be only one, so I'm just going to put it over here. What does this do? Huh? Material streamer tower upgrade increases streaming speed. Is that just like how fast stuff flows in and out of our pocket? That's what it looks like to me. <laughs> that doesn't seem super worth it. That was so expensive. Oh my God. I can't believe I just wasted all my money on that. Anyway. All right. Well, we're going to have to just keep crushing this out for a bit. I think the next thing we're gonna want, well, probably is that hell gem, that hell gem doohickey, and I guess we put it right here because this one has access to the most number of squares. I think these all have hell gems right now, unfortunately. It sure seems that way. Anyway, it is what it is. I'm going to crush out a little bit more of this. We'll see how things go. I want to be able to get some more better hell gem situations going. Where is that? Hell gem destabilizer. We only need 16,000 black, 4,000 red. We've almost got enough for this, honestly. We can probably do it here right away, and I'll stick it in there. Maybe we'll do that before we wrap up this episode, and we'll just see how much it helps. Yeah, we're definitely doing it. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. All right, guys, so I changed my mind. I decided I wanted to keep this one here because it can reach six things. It's so good to have. Um, and what I actually did is I put another one inside of here. It's kind of hard to see it, but it's right in here and That's gonna be able to reach all four of these. So then if There is a hell gem It should be able to work on all four of the remaining squares, which is gonna be perfect I just need to get enough money to there we go. We've done it. Let's put this in here So this thing should just immediately get destroyed now uh, it's not really helping. Oh, I didn't power it up yet. Maybe there we go. Oh my god Yes, it's so much quicker <laughs> So if there's a hell gem the block basically just disappears, which is terrific. Oh, I love that Hell yeah hell gems watch out give them hell. Okay, perfect. So that's great actually Oh man, I saw that hell gem right there and it just instantly vanished You love to see that Okay well, guys, we are going to wrap up this episode right there. I hope you are liking it so far. If you are, don't forget to leave me a thumbs up on this video. Subscribe to my channel if you're new here. And I will see you next time.